Hello everyone and welcome back to my stock career in Kerbal Space Program 1.11. In this episode, I am going to have to pick up that green sandstone from Minmus. And then, since they're only going to give me EVE contracts, I think I'll just time warp to the EVE window. It's a shame that we're going to miss out on the Duna window, but if they're not going to give me anything to do there, uh, we'll just go to EVE first anyway. I, we've landed on the moon a few times, I'm not going to keep on doing that and we've been doing a lot of rescues so I'll hold off on that for now even though they're worthwhile because we do like having Kerbals and they're expensive for those who might not realize um, it takes 308,000 to hire a Kerbal so yeah rescuing them and getting paid to do so is certainly worthwhile anyway but the first thing is a green sandstone from Minmus in the Greater Flats, Great Flats, or Lowlands. So somewhere around there we need to pick up a sandstone. I'm tempted to rescue a Kerbal and then bring the Kerbal, but I actually want to do this quickly. So we're not going to have it automated and we're just going to put one of our Kerbals in to do the business. I don't think we're getting enough out of our Terrier stage. We're only getting 1000 meters per second right now. Doesn't seem like it's a good stage to have at all. It, yeah, we would like to get maybe three times that from a stage, not 1,000. So it's probably a superfluous stage. Uh, given that, if we just did this, we get a, quite a lot of delta V, and it actually has thrust weight ratio. So we just with this setup, I think. If we just add boosters, we'd be all right. However, it does occur to me then that maybe we could just have a single stage to orbit system. So let's say we have the Bobcat. I mean, that has a lot of Delta V right there and um, it can take off from the surface, as you can see. I don't know if it's single stage to orbit yet. Maybe with tiny boosters or if we put two Bobcats on, it certainly will. I'm going to use the advanced nose cone type 2 to try and mount two bobcats. Little bit sticky outy. It's getting a little bit tall. Maybe I should go to 2.5 meter parts actually. Then we won't have the bits sticking out either. We don't have a whole lot of two. Well, we have these, so I mean, that's pretty good already. Okay, here it reads a thrust weight ratio of 1.39. Uh, 3,894 meters per second at sea level, 4,162 meters per second in vacuum. And, but we still need, uh, I would like to bring it back. So, oh, we've got a duplicate decoupler there. We don't need that. Um, we would like to bring it back. So we need a probe core. We need parachutes. We need comms probably. Uh, power is advisable. I'd rather not have to recharge it. So how about four batteries? And we'll need the radial mount parachutes finally. We haven't unlocked them yet. Now, I don't know if that's gotta be enough parachute, just those four, let's see. So the dry mass of these tanks is mm, two tons. So that's four tons there. Dry mass of this tank is 0.75. Dry mass of that is three eighths. So that's one and one eighth. So five and one eighth tons. And then the nose cones are 0.15. So let's say five and a quarter all together just to round and bobcats are four so that's nine and a quarter tons i don't think four parachutes are enough i'd normally say four uh, 1.5 tons per parachute so we're just under maybe if we just had two batteries we probably could do with a reaction wheel too Not to unlock the reaction wheel this is experimental. I haven't tried this particular setup to recover a stage yet. There are other setups. With my luck, we're gonna sink in the ocean or something. We also have an unlocked landing struts because I keep landing on my tanks. 
I don't know if these are long enough. Doubt it. No. We could use, but it's more structural mass to do so. Use the girder segments to extend them down. Uh, it doesn't look any more stable, to be honest, but maybe it'll make me feel better. We can close the top node off with something, maybe. Um, these nodes coincide are less intense. I don't know, it's something. We don't have the Werner engines. Heck, we don't have RCS of any kind. So maybe this is a little bit premature. <laughs> uh, why, did, why don't we have RCS of any kind? But we have the reaction wheels, so there's that. Uh, it'll be our first attempt at a recoverable stage. We don't have the air brakes yet, which I would like. So there's a lot we're lacking. We'll call this Minmus 2. We have a Minmus 1 that was a probe. And we're gonna put somebody on it. And that's gotta be a new pilot. Tansy. <laughs> Tansy has the least experience of all our pi pilots right now. So, congratulations Tansy. You get to work this business. Oh, I don't have comms separate. But we'll put one antenna. To a large extent, we won't be able to control it anyway. It'll be a bit imbalanced, but I don't think it's a big deal for considering the mass of the whole thing. We could put a solar panel on the other side, but we'll see how the power consumption is if we get to that part. Okay. Um, we could carry thermometer, barometer, and such. Nice not having to worry about part count. Okay. Will this single staged orbit system work? Let's find out. I made it intentionally bulky because I think that'll re-enter better. I didn't want it long and tall. But we could probably go longer and taller. I'll throttle up, SAS on, and we could line up with him this a little bit better. I think we only need to time warp a little bit. But we're already looting, losing electric charge. You know, I think I'm gonna put some extra battery on our vehicle. Oh, let's recover this right now. Maybe, maybe if we just roll it out again and launch, it'll be okay. Okay, so deciding I was probably paranoid about the electric charge. We're gonna go. Uh, we are, we are in the dark. So that's why some paranoia was justified. We would have to go south. By about five degrees to meet up with Minmus. SAS on and ignition of our first Bobcats. On the bright side, there's not gonna be a staging at Max Q or anything. So we're already ahead of the game. Okay, a uh, somewhat more ideal trajectory this time. Okay, orbital velocity. We seem to have enough. Seems pretty good. Okay, so that's the apoapsis, and then we'll circularize. Oh, I forgot to correct inclination. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> I was so busy trying to think about my little uh, rocket here that I didn't even bother doing the inclination. We were at the right place, too, if we uh, if we wanted to. You can see we, when, we, when we launched, this would have been perfect to correct the inclination, but I didn't do it. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, and... A little bit lopsided, but shut down 105 by 95. Okay. Oh, uh, we can arm the parachutes right now. I'll just do it like this for safety's sake. And I'll even deploy the landing gear right now. I don't know if we'll be at communication where we want to deorbit this stage, but let's separate off our main mission. I don't think there's any problems. No, we'll do an off-plane transfer, and it's going to take her a little bit longer to get to Minmus than usual. Okay, so she'll have to go all the way out there and swing back in. We really just want to get to the greater 
flats or something like that. Great flats, greater flats, or lowlands. And when we get here, it's not going to cost that much to capture. Because we're going really far out and coming back in, there was a chance that we'd be in a bad situation for capture, but no, we're not. So we're going to have just a 2.3 meter per second correction in the middle there. Okay, so that's the idea for Tansy. And we'll do that first. And go. Here it might have been advisable to have curb alarm clock, maybe. We're not really there yet, but we might get there where curb alarm clock would be good. Okay, so that's set up. And this is charged. I don't think we're going to have any problems with that. So let's jump back to the stage. Oh, uh, people talked about the debris. Don't worry about that. We might have a shuttle cleanup crew take care of that sort of business. So we've got some electric charge. We have some communication temporarily. But are we where I want to be for deorbiting? Not quite yet. I think that's the KSC. We can't really see the Eastern Peninsula very well, but my normal sort of benchmark was opposite the Eastern Peninsula and come down to 30 kilometer periapsis from this particular kind of orbit. So we'll see if that's the case with this. Different things have different drag after all. Now when we hit the atmosphere I don't know what kind of communication we'll have and then of course this plasma which is no good. If we do uh, come down anywhere near the KSC, that'll be nice. Uh, we probably won't have a commsat overhead though. But by that time, hopefully the parachutes will do their business. We will see. Okay. The orbit. Okay, that's close enough to 30 kilometers for me. We still have some fuel if we needed to use that, but. I doubt that would be safe in any circumstance. The one thing we can do is make sure all the fuel ends up at the bottom, not the top now. So that'll move our center of mass down and make sure we are oriented better. With a better probe core, we could tell it to hold retrograde. That would be helpful. Oh, we lost probe control. Now we're not in the atmosphere yet though. We're not exactly at a good orientation either. But you know, somebody said most of the parts will survive just fine. So we'll see. KSC's there. So at some point we're gonna be picking up a connection. I'll keep trying to push it to retrograde in the hope that that happens. Oh, we got connection. There we go. Somebody talked about a ComSat constellation. Uh, my preferred policy is to make them pay me to put ComSats up, and we do have one contract there for an equatorial orbit, but we don't have a polar orbit contract. Haven't had a polar orbit contract at all. So yeah, KSC is right down there. We're a little bit high, obviously. Maybe one of the satellites has come around in the meantime. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not as such. We could plan this better, but we'll see. I'm actually interested to see how it goes automated, if you will, at this point. So after Plasma, we'll see if it can handle itself with the parachutes and all. Though, actually deflecting from retrograde might give us more drag, which would be helpful. A lot of electric charge use. It's using electric charge like it would use a blader or something, I don't know. But, okay. It's still enough. And we've got parachute deployment. We will end up in the water. That's safe, I, I think my estimate was about right. 6.4 meters per second here. The electric charge is a little bit tight though. Might need a little bit more of that. I mean, once it deploys a parachute, strictly speaking, if I don't have comms, there's no use for the electric charge, but... Well, except if we want the SAS to use the reaction wheel to hold it steady. Okay, recover. 
got it. <laughs> I don't know if it was going to sink or not, but I wanted my money back. Uh, we were too far away from the KSC, though. Uh, we lost some from that. But there we go. First recovery of a launch stage, folks. Progress. We didn't even get signs for it. 81.8% value. It's not too bad. Okay, let's proceed with the mission. This has quite a lot of Delta V, and I expect that we're not going to launch anything particularly different. Well, maybe minor differences to some place like Do Not or Eve. That's a bit closer to the surface. We'll fix that when we get there. Okay, well, let us check our orbit. It is a bit close, so let's bring that further out of the way. 10 kilometers will be fine. I don't suppose barometer or thermometer are new. Oh, there's a little bit of recovery science. We must have done it with a probe, so we'll get the recovery science now. So, 10 second EVA. I think we've done high over. Yeah, so just get the barometer and thermometer data. Minmus. Tansy is very enthusiastic about seeing Minmus. And... Yep, burn. This time we'll do a little bit of biome hopping. We'll hit more than one biome at least. Alright, that should be safe. Let's do low over science. Thermometer. Oh, that we've recovered. Yeah, okay, that re we've recovered. And there's probably a different EVA report over this biome, maybe? Yeah, yeah lowlands. This is lowlands. If we wanted to, we could probably find this uh, green, green sandstone. Green sandstone here. That we've done. This is a pretty big target to find green sandstone in. We want to, but wasn't this? No, this wasn't where we landed before. I think maybe this looks like a greater flat. I forget which flats are which flats. So we could try and land in here. Okay, now definitely cover it. Oh, what's that? Ornard at the lowlands, but that's on the opposite side of. That is on the opposite side of Minmus. Let's see, EVA here. Is this a new EVA? Yes. Oh no, it's Lowlands again. Greater Flats. Oh, we've done Greater Flats EVA though. EVA report up here anyway. But anyway, at least we know it's Greater Flats. Well, having done moon landings with non-throttling limited ignition engines, This seems a breeze. Okay, we are down. You see a green sandstone out? Hmm. Anyway, uh, log pressure data. Temperature data. Report. EVA. I can take the surface sample right now, too. I don't know. There isn't a whole lot of... green sandstone signs. I hope it, you know, materialized it. Tansy at the Greater Flats. Where's the green sandstone? That is the question. Oh, it fell down already. What? Come on. There isn't even gravity here. Well, I mean, there's a little bit of gravity, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's get, scope the place out. Any other? There's some over. There's some things over there. But that could just be surface scatter. Yeah, this doesn't look like anything special. But I'll verify by walking through it. Or floating through it. Floating through it. Okay, so that's not... 
we turn back at 2.5 EVA propellant. Uh, that doesn't look special enough to be green sandstone right there. Ow. Messed that up. And <laughs> that's a that's a nice move she's doing through that. Okay. Obviously, activating terrain scatter has made this whole thing more complicated for me. Oh, that's probably terrain scatter too. But since we're here and we have to go back now, I'll just verify. Yep, we went through. Okay, where is our pod? 4.7 kilometers. We really traveled, huh? I don't suppose there's any chance that in the meantime they decided to plop a green sandstone right next to the pod, right? <laughs> that would be too easy. Um, there's a thing over there. Barely a speck in my monitor. That looks about the right size, though. I need surface. Yeah, that seems more like it. Doesn't look very green, though. Maybe it's not. Let's see. Oh, how did you manage to tumble? You were so slow. Okay, well... It's a tiny stone that the Kerbal can stand on, so pick up green sandstone. Okay, chip, chip, chip. And keep experiment. And we've got the, yeah, we've got the weird problem again. Actually, the, the in this case, the Kerbal keeps going up. There was some way of... Resetting it. Maybe if I go map view? No. Um, what if I switch vessels? Okay, that, that works. I think, yeah. Yeah, that worked. Okay, up and forward. This is probably an optimum speed for Minmus EVA travel to minimize EVA propellant usage, because we keep having to boost up, right? The faster you go, the less often you're going to have to boost up. But then the faster you go, the more you're going to have to slow down at the end, too. So, there's probably a delicate balance and an equation that can solve this. It'd be a sad case if we return to the pod and everything, and Tansy didn't have EVA propellant to get back in. Though I think jumping would be good enough. Maybe not though. I think jumping would be good enough. And all right, there we go and board. All right, green sandstone analysis from in the surface added. Now we can do a different biome. We might as well do another flat. I think this one over here would be good. So we'll just get into full orbit and come back down over there. Okay, SAS on, and off we go. And we'll just do a normal orbit, and we'll go down around there. Probably we'll end up fairly straight down sort of deal. Like so. Those might be slopes. I, I keep looking for slopes. <laughs> I mean, they're slopey. Only slopey. Okay, landing in whatever flats these are. Okay, nope, 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 keep going down. Alright. So, where are we exactly? Great flats. So, we could have found the green sandstone here too. But we have our green sandstone, so we don't need to worry about it. Great flats. Um, crew report. Uh, oh, we didn't pull out the crew report previously. Okay, should have done that. Take data. Take data. EVA report. Surface sample. Take data. 
we could just go store experiments. But I want to do the crew report, so board, crew report. All right, and Tansy can plant another flag. Hopefully it won't flop down this time. We should have been closer to the slope, so I don't want to land there. She's got all her EVA propellants, so maybe we'll go over to the slopes just to get... Well, but then we can't do the thermometer and barometer. Hmm. Okay, Tansy at the Great Flats. Um, hmm, what is she gonna say? I'm just gonna keep it clear, I don't have any idea. Alright, uh, so, yeah, she's just gonna EVA over to the slopes there to get slopey science. Okay, take surface sample. Lowlands. Well, we get more for recovery for some reason, so... EV report, no. I mean, we've done it already, I don't know why we'd get more for recovery. Did we lose that surface sample for some reason? Uh, well, it's only lowlands, it's not slopes, unfortunately. There are slopes at Midmus, right? I'm not dreaming this, but I guess I don't know precisely where they are. Okay, nope, stay up there. Well, we didn't get much out of that little venture. Oop. Okay, grab. Board. All right. Well, uh, we can try one more biome, I think. Uh, maybe right at the top here would be the simplest. Let's see. I hope that's not lowlands, right? That doesn't look low to me, but... Uh, these days, you never know. I'm pretty sure I've landed on the top of this thing before in a long, long time ago, but I don't remember which biome it is. Midlands would be nice. <laughs> Anything but lowlands. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what it is. I could have EVA'd over it to check, of course, but you might as well do a landing anyway. Midlands! Keep. EVA report. Keep. Surface sample. Keep. And take data. Crew report. Keep. And EVA. Let's reset that. Take data. Store experiments. Yes, give me all the, all the notifications. All of them. All right. And time to plan another flag, Tansy. They just have all the flags stored in there. And they all flop down. <laughs> Tansy at the Midlands. We need better flag pole manufacturing. Or at least whatever part actually gets planted into the ground. Doesn't seem... maybe it's Tansy's fault though. I don't know. Okay, jumping is not a good idea actually. I decided that maybe... maybe using the EVA pack to go up is better. This is obviously suboptimal. Oh, she, she stuck the landing though. Okay, basically to return home now. Getting into orbit first. We should have oodles of science. Probably need to unlock better comms for the interplanetary stuff. And that'll allow us to use this contract here, this Equatorial Orbit of Kerbin contract, to set up a good interplanetary commsat. And... Go. Okay, we have a good periapsis there. Yeah, that'll be fine. 
All right, Jancy on our way back. Departing Minmus after a very valiant adventure in the quest for the fabled green sandstone. Why not mint ice cream? I don't know. <laughs> Why green sandstone? No clue. Look at everything orbiting with such frame rates. Such frame rates. Honestly, I want to keep some of the debris up uh, just to see if it ends up lagging the darn thing. I need to get the frame rates down to where I'm used to them. There's too many frames here. Okay. Service module jettison time. And we'll go back. To, uh, yeah, we'll go back to sea level readings. And everything looks okay. Off. Off. Okay, and back to retro. Let's go retro surface. Oops, and I wanted to change the view. Tansy should be able to control it. And re entry. Ablation is happening. If there's anything you don't want to skimp on, it's just stuff right at the end of the mission. <laughs> Do not get the cheapest parachute manufacturer that you can. Parachute time. Mm, this might be Highlands. I don't know. It's bumpy anyway. And plop. Alright. Crew report? No, it's just Grasslands. But apparently we haven't done crew report from Grasslands yet. Well, we can do temperature scan and barometer. And I guess EVA and surface sample. Yep. Okay, we got all that from grasslands we never did. Okay, recover vessel. 722.8 science. Uh, Tansy's level 2 now. Only 641,000 altogether, though. They still, they have, they are giving us rescue contracts like crazy, atmospheric survey, plant flag on the moon. I think we're just gonna have to do the, but we might put this satellite up and then do the EVE stuff. This seems to make the most sense. As far as new science is concerned, where are the dishes? Well, there's a relay antenna here. We should probably start off going to there. Um, I didn't have RCS thrusters, and I would like those. So, let's unlock this. EVA fuel cylinders. Huh. That's new. Gonna avoid the mobile processing lab. Too much science. Anyway, um... Mop propellant tanks. Werner engines. For the larger, uh, re reusable stages, we're probably gonna want those. Even better relay antennae over here. I'll think about whether to unlock that. We could, but that's an expensive one. I sort of want the Cheetah. The Cheetah is a really nice engine. But I'll think about that as well. There are choices to be made here. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.